everyone and welcome to this episode of GTT Gavin's Tips and Tricks. Today we are on Ubuntu and no this is not Mac OS X even though it has the tiger background and a sort of leopard like dock. This is just a background I took off of the iMac and this is Kiba dock and it was a pre-installed theme for it. Also I've got an emerald theme so that it looks more like a Mac just because I have the Mac right next to it and I like how the Mac looks and feels. So today we're going to be showing you Compass Config Settings Manager, CCSM for short. It lets you customize your Compass Fusion, yeah, Compass Fusion, you know, like you've seen it on YouTube, the cube goes around, there might be fish in the middle or gears in the middle, you can have wobbly windows, all that good stuff. Yeah. To do this, make sure that you're running Ubuntu 8.04, um, Hardy Heron, and make sure that you have a, a rather decent machine. My machine is a 1.8 GHz dual core, and it's okay, but because it has AMD, it doesn't do well with screen stuff. That's why I can't screen record on Ubuntu. So, with all that different stuff out of your way, we're going to just go ahead and if you have um, three different buttons here, applications, places, and system, click on system. If you don't and you have a little Ubuntu logo like mine, you just click on the Ubuntu logo. Now, if you have the three buttons, go to applications and find, add and remove. The add and remove window will come up along with this smaller window. Just wait for the smaller window to go away and make sure that this is set to all available applications. Okay, click it, then go over to the search box and type in Compass. Okay, should come up right here as Advanced Desktop Effects Settings, CCSM. Configure Compass with Compass Config. Check the box, and if a window comes up telling you that it is community maintained software, install that. If okay, and then after that happens, it'll go through the installation, and you'll need an internet connection for that. After it is done installing, you can find it in your system or main menu, then system, preferences, and find Compass Config Settings Manager. This window will come up, and right off the bat, you can see some stuff here. It can help you if you're hard of seeing. If you can't see all that great, like you can have high contrast, um, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, this is where it really gets interesting in the desktop area. The desktop cube is probably one of my favorites and the most popular of Compass, Con of Compass Fusion and Barrel. And um, it's really cool because you have a cube that you can move around and put different windows on different sides. Okay? Desktop wall is what it's set to for default. That's like Mac OS 10.5 spaces. Um, if you like that, go ahead with it. I don't care for it. Expo. Oops. Expo is... Um, let me just show you. Expo is this. And you can drag your windows across it. And depending on what your settings are up here, that's how your expo will look. So you can play around in that. Fade to desktop, I don't use. I don't really know what it's for. Rotate cube, rotates the cube. Show desktop, I don't use it. Viewport switcher, no clue what it is, but I use it. Widget layer, it's like widgets, but it isn't really all that great. Now the effects, the 3D windows, is when you put your desktop into the cube mode, the windows will pop off the cube, like in the picture it shows. Let me zoom in on it. So it'll pretty much look like that on the cube. Um, I'm not going to use that because personally to me it's just a whole bunch of distraction. Animations, you can change a whole bunch of animations, like when you minimize might want to do a little squiggly or blow up or whatever and that is another one of the big ones 
Bicubic filter, I have no clue what it's for or what it is. Blur windows, no thank you. I don't really know what it's for, but it doesn't sound fun. Cube gears is like gears inside your cube. If you have your cube set to be translucent, then you can see the gears. Cube reflection and deformation, you do not have that. This is a beta only version that I'm using and it's only in the beta. I'm sure they're going to add it soon. Fading windows, no clue. Log in, log out, no clue. Minimize, you don't need it since you have effects. Motion blur is just annoying. Paint fire on the screen is fun because you can write on the screen. Reflection, um, I think it comes with something else. Window decoration is like, um, like themes. Water effect, it like rains on your desktop. Trail focus, it fades your windows out. And of course, wobbly windows to make the windows wobbly. I'm just going to go in here real quick. And right here you should probably... Oh, just a second. You should probably have this set to 2 instead of 4. Because when you have it set to 4, it's really hard to move around. And also I would recommend not setting it below 2 because it will be very, very hard to um, keep a hold of your windows. So enough with that. We're going to go back and I'm going to scroll down to these. Annotate is like paint fire, except it's only um, it's only like a little pen, at least I think. I don't use it. These just leave them alone. They don't really do much. And these, I would pretty much say just leave them alone. Window management. Um, the ring switcher is like um, Windows tab. If I had more windows open, let me open another window or two. See, it just goes like this. And the Alt tab does just like in Vista or in Mac. It's pretty simple. Okay, so, um, anything else? Shift switcher, um, that's something else. I use the ring. And that looks like that's pretty much it. The zoom desktop is what I'm using right now to zoom in. It's super, stands for Windows key or the Apple key. Um, I'm using my Apple keyboard for this so that I don't have to go up to the laptop each time I want to type something in. So, yeah, you zoom in and zoom out by holding down the Windows or Apple key and scrolling up and down, up and down, okay? So, that is pretty much a summary of Compass Config Settings Manager. If you have any problems with it or just general questions about Ubuntu or Windows or Mac or iPod Touch in general, then just email me at gavinstipsandtricks at gmail.com or gttouch at gmail.com if you want to get me on my iPod Touch. Um, next week we'll be doing a Windows 98 episode and it's just going to be a simple for any Windows episode. Um, I still haven't decided what it really is going to be, but it's going to be simple and it won't be too long. And this one, this one has gotten really long, so I'm just going to say sayonara for now. And I'm going to entertain you with what it looks like when you reboot with Ubuntu. Catch you next time.